Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today I want to discuss what it means when he says, let's be friends. For you ladies, this is reading between the lines. These are the things that he is not saying to you. So if you're interested in knowing what he's actually saying to you, you make sure you stick around. <laughs> So ladies, what is he saying to you when he says, let's be friends? So let's go ahead and read between these lines today. There are a couple things that he could be saying, but I'm going to give you four today. One of the things that he could be telling you is, he's just not into you. No, he's not saying that he's not into you, but trust me, he's not into you. If he's putting you in the friend zone and you are a pretty decent woman, well put together, whatever it is, and you know some of the things that he likes because you guys have had these discussions, you kind of fit this, but you're still in the friend zone, trust me, he's not that into you. So that's the first thing. The next thing is that you are not his number one choice. Again, when a guy is into you, he does not put you in the friend zone. Number two, when a guy is into you, he does not say it's okay if you go ahead and date other men. Because men are territorial. They don't want nobody else on their property. If he puts you in the friend zone, he ain't that into you. You're not his number one choice. Which also leads me to point number three. If you get put in the friend zone, what he's actually saying is he will keep you around until his the one surfaces. And then you will get booted real quick. That's the third thing. As soon as his number one comes around and he feels like they have made a connection you are no longer not, I mean, number one, you're not the priority anyway, right? But you're not even on the list of maybe. Let's hang out sometime. Let me answer a call sometime. Let me answer a text. You are no longer in the picture. And he going to drop like a dead fly. And you're going to wonder what the heck happened. So when his the one surfaces, you will no longer be in the picture, period. The fourth thing. After y'all have this conversation and he puts you in the friend zone, he secretly could care less if you walk away. He kind of hopes that you do. <laughs> he kind of hopes that, you, okay, so it's about 50-50. He's hoping that you do, but he's also hoping that you're not. Because his the one has not surfaced yet, so you are the mean in between time girl. Which is friends with benefits, uh, or it might not even be about sex. He might want some um, companionship or compat compatibility. He might love to watch movies, whether it's at the, at the house or at the theater. So you are filling some of that space. You're doing some type of girlfriend things, but basically he just don't want to feel lonely and you are the one he will hang out with because you're cool enough to do that, but you're not cool enough to take that extra leap. You're not cool enough to be the girlfriend. You're not cool enough to be his the one. So... After those four things that I just gave you, what should you do, ladies? Well, I'm going to tell you a few things that now you should do. You should get your butt up, straighten your back, give a little stretch, <laughs> get your stuff. Jack, That's your jacket. That's your jacket. <laughs> Throw up them deuces. Like forever. Throw up them deuces. Because, again, it's something about you that's not the one for him. And it's okay. But just don't be blinded continuously blinded oh he might come back around he might he might oh this might happen let me stick here let me act like the girlfriend even though he just told me that we are in the friend zone but i'm still gonna cook for him i'm still gonna make sure that he's okay i'm gonna send him food i'm gonna take him food on his break mm, no no something about you to him is not meshing well so just don't do it to yourself Break all ties and walk away. The next thing is you are still going to become even more emotionally attached to him because you guys might be sharing um, lots of stories. He might feel comfortable enough around you to be able to let down his guard and let you into his world, but it's still a little bit. But for you, you're feeling like, oh, dang, he's opening up to me. He's sharing some things about himself. This might be a little bit more personable, uh, personal. You're feeling like it's going somewhere, but he already know. Friend zone. That's where you at. Just move on. Don't even continue to get your emotions deeper with him. All right? He might actually keep you around 
for the friends with benefits. Some of y'all who don't know that definition, that is where you are, quote unquote, friends who have sex. Why you want to do that to yourself? Because if you are still emotionally attached to the guy that put you in the friend zone by giving sex to him, you are doing a disservice to yourself. You're actually cheating yourself by doing that. Because women, for the most part, cannot just have sex. Our emotions get attached. Now, men, they can do what they do. Ride on you. Deuces. And then, guess what? Call you in two, three nights when he feeling horny again. Or in another month. Because their emotions not in it like ours. So, again, just save yourself. Just save yourself. Don't worry about it. Don't stick around for the loneliness factor when you are put in the friend zone. Just be the friend, quote unquote. Matter of fact, let's move on to the last point. Here's my thought process behind this anyway. When he puts you in the friend zone, just clearly think about this because most of the time this is not the case. What am I referring to? Were you guys friends prior to you guys meeting to date? If you weren't, come here. You are not really friends. You, you, you're not. Because guess what's going to happen? You're still going to be trying to call. You're still going to be trying to text. And he's going to get back to you whenever he feels like it. And you are just going to be more and more pissed off. Because in your mind, y'all friends at least. Because in your mind, not only are you friends, you're hoping that he's going to change his mind about you. And honey, if he ain't running after you to try to get you in the first place, you are not going to get anywhere. And if you do, you're going to be forever chasing him. Forever chasing him. And he ain't going to be doing nothing. He ain't going to be paying you no attention. Even if he does decide to give in to you later on because you did stick around. Just saying, food for thought, ladies. Food for thought. Take it in. Think about it. Apply it. Knowledge is power, but applied knowledge will actually give you back your strength. It will make you feel that you are worthy. You actually notice you are worthy. And this will start to build your confidence back as well. Have you ever been put in the friend zone? And how did you get out of the friend zone? Please put a comment in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you hit this red subscribe button right up here or down below. Either one works. Thank you for listening. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for applying these things to your life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.